99.9% of all known species that have ever existed on Earth are now extinct. Most of them disappeared in five great extinction events, but some are gone because of us. In this video, we take a look at just seven species that have been wiped out by humans. Hello and welcome to 7 Facts. There are many reports out there that confirm the fact that we've entered the sixth great extinction event of Earth. And this time, we are the cause. Numbers vary, but it's estimated that since our rise as a species, we've driven over 1 million plant and animal species into extinction. Among the earliest animals we've eliminated was the woolly mammoth. Related to Asian elephants, woolly mammoths were large creatures that roamed the cold steppes of Eurasia and North America. Until that is, we appeared on the scene. The end times of the woolly mammoth coincided with two major events. One was the end of the last glacial period. The other was the rise and rapid expansion of Homo sapiens. The sudden climate change obviously played the role in the shrinkage of woolly mammoth populations, however, nearly everywhere we find signs of their extinction, we also find evidence of human habitation. It would seem that everywhere we popped up, the dwindling mammoth populations disappeared. We hunted them for food, fur, bones and tusks. The last woolly mammoths died on Wrangell Island 4000 years ago. But without us, they might have survived to this day. A much more recent extinction caused by humans was that of the thylacine, better known as the Tasmanian tiger. Called as such because of the stripes on its backs, this was one of the largest carnivorous marsupials. It was an animal found in Australia, Tasmania and New Guinea, that is, until 1933. This guy wasn't related to tigers nor wolves, but it certainly was an apex predator. Nevertheless, it's gone now. In Australia, it's presumed that thylacines disappeared after early human seafarers brought over the dingo, a dog subspecies. Dingoes came into competition with thylacines and won out. Combine that with human hunting and the thylacines didn't stand a chance. By the time the British colonized Australia, the Tasmanian tiger was restricted to Tasmania. Here, bounties were introduced in an effort to control their numbers. Farmers were complaining about them, thinking they were attacking sheep and poultry. This probably wasn't the case or it wasn't that widespread, nevertheless, thylacines were hunted relentlessly. The loss of habitat, introduction of wild dogs and the appearance of a disease combined with intense hunting wiped out this species for good. The last wild thylacine was shot in 1930, while the last one living in captivity died in 1936. Until the late 19th century, a zebra subspecies used to live in South Africa, the quagga. This was similar to the zebra but only the front of its body was covered in stripes. Quaggas were said to be wild and lively and for the most part coexisted with humans for thousands of years. But after the Dutch settlement of South Africa began, the quagga became a target for hunters. The reason? Quaggas competed with domesticated animals for forage. Of course, their meat and skin were also an added value. The last population in the wild was destroyed in the 1870s. Before we continue, I'd like to ask you something. This channel has no sponsors, so if you enjoy the content I make, please consider supporting these videos by becoming a patron. You can check out my Patreon page by clicking here or find the link in the description. Ok, now we can move on to the next fact. In a previous episode, I already talked about the dodo and how it disappeared due to human activity. But there's another example of an awesome bird species that were wiped out by mankind, the great auk. They looked like modern penguins but are actually not closely related. In fact, penguins were discovered later and named so because of their resemblance to the great auk which were scientifically called pinguinus. In a way, they were the northern equivalent of penguins, ranging from Canada, Greenland and Iceland, all the way to Great Britain and northern Spain. 
The reason why we hunted these birds to extinction was because we wanted soft pillows. Their down, that the puffy soft feather lying under the rougher outer feathers was a prime commodity in Europe. So for centuries, great auks were hunted until their populations all but disappeared. In 1844, the last two specimens were killed on LD Island, ending the last known breeding attempt. A much more recent extinction was that of the western black rhinoceros. These guys were declared extinct in 2011. They were once widespread in the savanna of sub-Saharan Africa, but today are completely gone. The reason? Poaching. Throughout the 20th century, this subspecies of rhinos was illegally hunted, despite conservation efforts. By the year 2000, only 10 known specimens survived. Just one year later, that number halfened. By 2006, no individuals could be sighted anywhere. And to think, this was the most numerous of all rhino species. These rhinos were hunted because their horns were a valuable ingredient in traditional Chinese medicine. Trophy hunting was also a major reason. Stellar sea cows were huge animals that used to live near the shores of the Bering Sea. They were discovered in 1741 by Georg Steller. These animals were 9 to 10 meters long and weighed about 10 tons. The docile sea cows spent most of their time at the surface of coastal waters and weren't very good divers. Unfortunately, this made them an easy target for Russian seal hunters who prized them for their meat, fat and hide. After their discovery, it took only 27 years for humans to hunt all of them down. The Eurasian aurochs were one of the ancestors of modern cattle. This was a large ox with prominent horns and an aggressive temperament. The species once roamed across Europe, Siberia and Central Asia. Because of their temperament, aurochs were frequently captured and battled for sport in Roman arenas. But what drove them into extinction was excessive hunting. By the 13th century, there were so few aurochs left that the right to hunt them was restricted to nobles and royalty. The last known auroch died in 1627. I hope this video was interesting enough to have inspired you to look into it further on your own. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe. You can leave your comments downstairs and you can also check out my Patreon page if you want to support me. The link is in the description. I hope to see you next time. Bye.